energy storage systems are growing in importance as renewable energy sources like wind, wave and solar are being commissioned and connected to the grid at an ever increasing rate. Energy storage systems are needed to help the grid deal with the instability and unpredictability of such power generation and match them to equally variable consumer demand. In the UK, renewables currently produce over 20% of the country's electricity and this is likely to exceed 30% by 2020. The current installed capacity is in the region of 9 gigawatts, indicating the nation's reliance on more environmentally forms of energy generation in the future. Battery-based systems are rapidly gaining market share for use of energy storage and gaining acceptance due to advances in their design. Other energy storage approaches can use a range of media, including compressed air, pumped hydro and flywheel, but properly packaged, battery-based systems offer advantages in portability and size. The configuration of batteries and the setup of the system can bring a variety of benefits to the grid. Some configurations are useful for rapid response short-term discharge, maintaining good frequency, stability and power quality, whilst others can supply a longer duration output to perform base load balancing, peak shaving or even to back up power on the microgrid. In terms of grid level storage, most of the focus is currently centred around frequency response. In the UK, battery storage has dominated the outcome of National Grid's recent 200 megawatt enhanced frequency response tender. According to Citigroup, the global battery storage market, not including car batteries, will surge to 240 gigawatts and $400 billion by the year 2030. The main drivers of this growth, according to the report, will be a reduction in battery storage costs of $230 a megawatt hour within the next 7-8 to eight years and the growth in solar energy generation. Both these will combine to make technologies financially attractive to a growing number of countries. According to the report, dealing with divergence, the only thing standing in the way of the huge growth in battery storage is still the relatively high cost associated with use. According to Citigroup though, the market is likely to see similar growth trajectory in the next few years to that through which we've seen solar energy in the last few and with similar cause. Falling costs lead to increased deployment and increased deployment leads to further falling costs. Others, however, take a dimmer view, believing that battery storage will not be economical anytime soon. That pessimism cannot be dismissed. The transformative future of energy storage has been just around the corner for some time, and at the moment storage constitutes a very small drop in a very large ocean. In 2015, a record 221 megawatts of storage was installed in the United States, more than three times as much as in 2014, which saw 65 megawatts being installed. This in itself was a big jump over the previous year. The trend is therefore positive, but more than 160 megawatts of the 2015 total was deployed by a single regional organisation, the PJDM Interconnector, and 221 megawatts is not much in the context of the total US generation capacity. For the near future, the dominant form of energy storage, pumped hydro, is sure to remain the principal method of storing energy. Aside from pumped hydro, a plethora of energy storage technologies exist with a growing number of new solutions being tried, tested and installed on a commercial basis. An even larger number reside anywhere between the blueprint designs and various levels of research and development.